Hi there, students. Florid, an adjective. <coughs> Floridly would be the adverb, and I guess floridness as well, the noun of the quality. Okay, if you say something is florid, it's got too much decoration. It's got too many, too many details. Yeah, a florid building. The decoration was too florid. Yeah, so I think if you call something florid, you're you're not being complimentary. You're saying it's just gone over the top with decoration. Yeah. Um, okay, so florid, just too much decoration. This is actually talking about flowers. Yeah, a florid floral display. So a floral display of flowers. But if you say <coughs> that the it was florid, it was too intricate. It was too much. Now you could also use florid as an adjective to say that somebody's face is too red. I can tell he's been drinking because of the florid complexion. Yeah? If you say somebody's face is florid, you're, you're saying they're a little bit unhealthy, that it's not very good. So, a red flushed complexion. Yeah? Um, so, a, a rather large man with a, uh, a florid uh, face. And then florid. Excessively elaborate. It's excessively... Uh, detailed. So, for example, uh, florid po prose or flor a florid poem. It's just got too many descriptive adjectives and maybe it doesn't fit together very well. Okay, so florid, yeah? Um, it's You're just going over the top with the decorative details. Very, very flowery in, in style or in detail. Yeah, so um, his speech was was full of florid words. Yeah, I, th I think if I'm using florid, this is generally being critical. It's saying that well, it wasn't it wasn't so good. Yeah, um, the interior of the house was was floridly decorated. I don't like floridness floridness like that. Yeah. Um, okay, so florid, red. I think in the past this used to be healthy, but nowadays we use this word florid to say unhealthy. Yeah? You're, so if you call something florid, you're saying you don't really like it, you disapprove, because it's too complicated, it's too extravagant, it's, um, it, it's not plain or simple enough for your taste. Yeah? Um, and then if you describe somebody as florid, you know, one of these red-nosed, red-faced drinkers, a florid complexion, uh, very definitely. Well, my, I think my face used to be a lot more florid, but nowadays somewhat less. Okay, so florid, fl uh, flowery, intricate, rosy, um, with, too mu with too much detail, yeah, over-intricate, over-designed. Um, so yeah, let's see the uh, fl florid uh, poetry of a romantic poet. Yeah, it, maybe it's just got gone over the top. Yeah, a florid style of prose. Okay, so florid, overly, overly ornate, excessively ornate, um, much too fancy. Uh, much too maybe baroque or fussy, too much embellishment. I think florid writing, grandiloquent, high flown. Yeah, um, a uh, a florid um, mural. Yeah, it's saying it's going maybe over the top. It's uh, maybe overly flamboyant, too embellished and then a florid face somebody who's flushed they're red they're um red in the face yeah so yeah he went florid with embarrassment you could probably use it like that as well okay so formality i think i'm probably going to give this 6.5 or 7 6.5 
I'm not sure I would use it informally. Use it in a semi-formal conversation, semi-formal or formal uh, writing. Um, and then as to origin, this comes from French floride, uh, flourishing from floridus in Latin, flowery and blooming. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Florid.